Welcome to our video on relation types. First, I will give definitions and examples of types, and then you will have the opportunity to solve some practice exercises. There are 12 main relation types that will be in focus here, and I will explain them in the following. Being familiar with these types will be an advantage when searching for an answer on the test. So starting off, we have opposites. These are terms that are opposed to each other and do not have the same or similar meaning, but rather opposite meanings. Another word for opposite that you might hear is antonym. For example, an opposite pair would be to accept versus to reject, smooth versus rough, or dark versus light. On the other hand, we have synonyms, which are the opposite of antonyms. These are terms that have the same or very similar meaning, and they can replace one another in a sentence, so they're interchangeable. For example, to understand and to comprehend, to remember and to recall, and hardworking and diligent. The next relation type are umbrella and subterms. A subterm describes a subconcept belonging to an umbrella term, which is a more general concept. The subterm is part of a larger category or entity described by the umbrella term. For example, dog and pet. Dog is a type of pet, but it's critical to note that a pet is not a type of dog, so we have a one-way relation here. North America and continent, same thing. North America is an instance of a continent, but not all continents could be considered North America. And ship and transportation, as a last example, ship is a type of transportation, but not all transportation types are ships. Up next, part-whole relations. A part is a term that represents a smaller unit of a whole term. This whole can be defined by the parts that compose it. For example, a child is part of a family, an hour is part of a day, and a branch is part of a tree. The next type, things that go together. These are terms that are often co-located with one another, or in simpler terms, they're often in association, and therefore they can be considered to belong together. For example, belt and pants, fire and smoke, love and wedding. With one, one might expect the other. Objects and characteristics. One term describes an object and another term describes a property attributed to that object. So for example, sugar and sweet, race car and fast, blizzard and freezing. The next relation type are objects and functional positions. This is where one term stands for an object and the other term for a functional position that's typically assigned to that object. So for example, cow and farm. A cow lives on a farm in which it fulfills functions such as dairy production. Money has a functional position in a bank account in that there it is saved and stored. And likewise, a painting has a functional position in a museum where it can be preserved and admired by the public. Actor and action. This is where one term is an actor, so that is the person or object that performs an action, and the other term is the action that's taken. For example, a pencil is an actor to be able to draw. Air conditioning is an actor to be able to cool down. And telescope is an actor to be able to observe. Another relation type is verb and tense. This is where one term is a verb in present tense or in its infinitive form, and the other term is a conjugated form of the verb in another tense. For example, fly and flew. Fly is in the present tense or in the infinitive form, and flew is in the past tense. Same as with come and came, and also the same with keep and kept. 
The next relation type might sound familiar to some of you. Cause and effect. This is when a term describes a thing or an activity that can be interpreted as the cause of something else. The other term signifies the effect of the cause. For example, eating is the cause of feeling full, as well as working, which may cause one to be tired. And likewise, exercising might cause one to sweat. Just like cause and effect, another type of relation that we often talk about in everyday life is problem and solution. This is when one term stands for an existing problem and the other term for a solution to that problem. For example, when one is tired, the solution could be to rest. When something is wet, the solution could be to dry it. And when there's a mistake, the obvious solution would be to correct it. The last relation type we'll be talking about is degree of expression. This is when a term describes a state of a concept or event, and the other term describes a pronounced, magnified form of that concept or event. For example, dangerous and deadly, waves and tsunami, pretty and stunning. In the following segment of the video, you have the chance to practice using your knowledge about relation types with some example questions. Feel free to pause the video at any time to solve these problems. Our first question is about the relation type of opposites. You can pause here to carefully go through the potential answers. The correct answer is C. Wet is the opposite of dry, and nice is the opposite of mean. The next type are synonyms. You have time now to consider the following possibilities. The correct answer is A. To escape and to run away are synonyms, just like to choose and to select. The next question relates to umbrella and subterms. Consider the following options carefully. The correct answer is B. Tokyo is a city and trout is a type of fish, so Tokyo and trout are thus subterms for the umbrella terms city and fish. The next question is on part whole relations. You have time now to select the correct answer. The answer here is C. A family is a whole unit comprised of children as parts, and a team is a whole unit comprised of players. The next relation type is things that go together. Consider the following options. The correct answer is A. A pen often goes with paper and a horse with a carriage. Objects and characteristics is the next relation type in question. Read the following options carefully. The correct answer is D. A characteristic of sugar is that it's sweet and a flame that is hot. The next question is about object and functional position. Consider all options. The correct answer is B. Paintings have a functional position in a museum and trains have a functional position at a train station. Actor and action is the next relation type. Read through all the options carefully. The correct answer is C. Soap is an actor that achieves the action of cleaning. An oven is an actor that achieves the action of baking. The next relation type is verb and tense. You have time now to choose the correct answer. The correct answer is D. To throw and to cry are both in their infinitive forms, and have thrown and have cried are conjugated forms. In this case, they are in the past perfect forms. The next type of relation is cause and effect. Read through the answers and select the correct one. Here the correct answer is A. 
Working as a cause leads to earning as an effect. As well, stitching something up is a cause to repairing it as the effect. We're almost there. The penultimate relation type is problem and solution. Consider the following options. The correct answer is B. When losing something is the problem, then to find it is the solution. And likewise, when sickness is the problem, then a cure is the solution. Finally, the last type of relation is degree of expression. Consider all the possible answers. The correct answer is D. Being panicked is at an increased degree of being concerned and deafening is at an increased degree of loud. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. We wish you all the success on your test. And by the way, you can find more practice materials on inferring relations in our ebook.